all about using mathematics to understand other things. Um, and in the work that I do, I'm particularly interested in understanding biology specific to asthma. I was actually born and brought up in Kenya. So I went to high school in Nairobi. I mean, in my culture, if you're, if you're very smart, you're the, the, what you really should be doing is being a doctor. And then the next thing you should really be doing is being an engineering. It should be all really vocational and, and things like that. So, so just studying mathematics for the sake of studying mathematics, that was weird from the cultural point of view. But for me, it's the fun. It, fun element of it. It's the problem solving, it's the sort of satisfaction of, of actually coming up with some kind of solution to something that is perhaps intractable. So I think that's what people should get out of it, is, is, is a real satisfaction of, of doing something that is potentially quite hard to do. In terms of women doing mathematics, I think, I really think the problem is one of confidence. Uh, even now, even now, even as a, math, a female mathematician, I, when I'm in a, in a group of men who are also mathematicians, I feel like I'm not as good as them. And I think that's a battle we, uh, maybe I generalise, but I do feel like it's something that we battle with as women, that we constantly feel we're not as good as the opposite sex. And, um, and I, the only thing I can say is that if you feel like you're good at it and you know, and you have a way of comparing yourself, certainly at school women are doing really well um, in terms of exam grades, even in mathematics. If you feel you can do it, then you can do it.